Hey guys, welcome back to RC Life 365. My name is Sierra, and today we are going to be talking about the five, top five, <laughs> things to do in Daegu for free. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, jumping right into it, number five on our list today is food and clothing markets. Rob and I have seen a lot of Korean culture, but nothing as weird and interesting, in a good way, as the food and clothing markets around Korea. And that's why it's on our free list, because you can just walk around and not even spend money. There's food vendors and little shops that you can just look around and everything there is really cool. And speaking of cool, Rob and I just recently went to the Daegu Independent Music Festival. And it was so fun. There were a lot of different individual artists. One thing I've learned about Korea is they love performing and they love dancing and music. So that brings us to number four on our list, which is the shows and performances around Daegu. We've seen young talent, we've seen older talent, we've seen new talent, and everything that we've seen, it is really amazing. Rob and I love watching all of the free musical performances downtown. So coming up on number three on our list is the Botanical Gardens. Now, Rob and I just made a video about this, so that'll be coming up soon, but we put number three as the Botanical Gardens because it is so beautiful. We picked a great time to go. It is family friendly and it's free. My favorite thing about it is probably the fruit tree garden. It's a little greenhouse that has a bunch of different fruit trees and little plaques that tell you about them. There's a lot of nature education at this place. It's also a very peaceful place. So if you're looking for some peace and quiet, then definitely go check it out. So second to last, number two, is going to be taking photos of the sites such as parks or temples or just around the city in general. Rob has been getting really good at using his drone. There are drone zones in Korea. I've also been getting into photography myself and I love it. Now if you're not into photography and you just want to see the sites, a few of them would be Susan Lake, E-World is definitely a big one, and Apsan Mountain, which I'll be getting to that one in a second. Another good one is also the Ark. So number one is Apsan Mountain. You guys, we have gone here so many times. This is our favorite place to go. It's great for photos. It's great for hiking. It's just an overall awesome experience if you love nature. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. That was our top five things to do in Daegu for free. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys, see you next time.